Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk about this. Can you trust Ken? And I'm also going to talk about Sweetie Pies. This is part one. Now, the quick answer to can you trust Ken, the answer is no. That's the quick answer, okay? Um, now, over the years, I have seen brothers killing brothers, twins killing the other twin. Um, the other day, a funeral director killed his cousin. Uh, mothers killing daughters, daughters killing the mothers, the son kills the whole family. I've heard of that, I mean, over the years. So this inter-relative uh, murder is something I've heard of before. Now, my relatives are not very nice people. Uh, my in-laws are not very nice people. And, uh, but can I trust them? No. Okay, that's a quick answer there. Um, I don't have anything to do with the sister that stole in, or her or the niece. Or her daughter that stole from my mother. I don't have anything to do with them. There are no plans to visit. And sometimes you just can't trust Ken. See, as you get older, you, you drop people. You drop your friends. You, you drop people from your address booklet. Uh, and uh, when you get older, you're left with very little. And that's okay because what you want is peace. What you want is peace in your life. And it's a high cost for peace. It really is. Um, and I do not have plan any plans to visit. <laughs> now, my grandmother and my great aunt, all they did in their old age was argue. They talked about each other. They talked about other people. That's all they did in their old age. Um, I have no intention of being that way. In fact, I plan on being an entrepreneur, okay, in my old age. I don't know about anyone else. So I'm going to try to avoid all these conversations with any relatives. I mean, I think that's the best way for me to handle that. Now, the situation at Sweetie Pies, uh, I was very shocked that um, Andrew, uh, Andre was killed. I was just, I just thought he kind of had a handle on his life. You know, my impression of him is that, you know, maybe he needed to pick his uh, friends a little more carefully. But, and Miss Robbery, I, I think she did the best she could with him. Um, you know, I had this vision the other day when I woke up, I, I, Mrs. Robbery was actually talking to Tim in this vision and they were both in anguish, but Mrs. Robbery was in a whole lot of anguish. She was just in a whole lot of anguish and the vision lasted about one or two seconds because spiritual time is not the same as earth time. Um, but she was in anguish in this vision, this short vision I had. Um... And I guess, it, you know, things will get worse uh, as the days go by. Now, I saw the video of uh, when Mrs. Robbie, her, her house was robbed. Now, I was robbed in the past. In fact, the, per the young man who robbed my house, uh, I saw him a few hours before he broke in. Okay? Now, he went to jail and all that. Uh... But see, this is what my take is from that robbery. I, I watched the video. Number one, it was a large person. It was a large, muscular person. Uh, number two, that person acted alone. Okay, it was not even with two, two or more people. He acted alone. Uh, so you can narrow that down to a list of people right away. Uh, that person, he turned the mattresses up. You have to be strong physically to do that, to turn the mattresses up like that. Um, number two, the person knew the layout of her house. Uh, the person knew that she did not have an alarm system. Now that, that increases, that decreases uh, the list right there. Okay, whoever was knew the layout of her house. I didn't know the layout of her house. Uh, they knew she didn't have an alarm system. Not too many people knew that. Um, uh, you know, they opened all the drawers and all that. But I would think an entrepreneur like her uh, only has electronic cash. It looks like that person was looking for some miscellaneous cash. But I would think that an entrepreneur like a Mrs. Robert, who's been in business for a while, she deals with electronic money. She doesn't deal with cash, okay? Uh, and whoever it was kicked the door down with some big feet. He got, I mean, he had like, what, 10 to 13 size feet, okay? So, so who does all that fit? It just fits Tim. He's big, he's muscular, he probably has a size 13 feet and big enough to kick the door down, he acted alone, okay? He knew the layout of her house, he knew that she didn't have, did not have an alarm system. He knew that, no security system whatsoever. So that narrows it 
way down to Tim. To, in my opinion, uh, now you take like this whole business of turning over mattress. That is so blase. That's what they did in the fifties and sixties. Okay, <laughs> turning over mattress. They don't burgers don't do that now. They very focused on where they go. They go to where the safe is. They know where the safe is. Blah blah blah. They don't turn over mattresses because who keeps money under the mattress? Okay. <laughs> And there's no gang that has come forth and claimed responsibility for that burglary. No gang has come forth. That was an individual job, big, muscular. And to me, Tim um, is the only one that fits that category. And to me, he's sending a clear message to Miss Robbie. You are next. I know the layout of your house. I know when you're gone. I know when you're on vacation. You are next. Okay? Uh, so the message to me was very clear. Part two is next. 